Right, Brady. Um, now you're our first victim for uh, a new segment called Drive Talk. You mean you're my first victim? Oh well, one or the other, one or the other. But after your um, sensational uh, podium as Sandow, mate, I do trust you. But so the deal is here: a bit of an interview um, about who Brady Kostecki is while we're having a nice, quiet drive around uh, Norwell Circuit. So you up for that? Mate, well, I'm so you up for that. Uh, just remember that uh, it's pretty wet offline here, mate. We've had a fair bit of rain. That's right. right. I've had plenty of experience on Brody Hill. <laughs> right. Okay, Brody. So now, not a hell of a lot of people know who Brody Kostecki is. Mind you, after your podium, they're all slapping you on the back. Uh, you know, I presume you got a few new mates after Sandow. No, I'm a pretty sort of quiet person, but yeah, a lot of people have. Um, you know, um, a lot of text messages have come through that I don't know the numbers for, so <laughs> that's um, always pretty exciting. But I know the people that helped me get to where I am today, so I'm uh, very thankful for those, you know, th for those people. Uh, one of them being the man that owns this place. He's uh, he's always been a big fan of yours, and uh, he um, he was pretty proud when you got that podium, mate. Yeah, he was. He um, he made sure he called me straight away, and he was sending me text messages throughout the whole weekend. Um, making sure that I was doing everything right and uh, you know having someone in your corner giving you all that advice is just yeah. um, so beneficial for a young bloke like me so <laughs> very 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 grateful. Well BMX dad I think all these posts were um, yeah, you could yeah all right you're right you got this yeah all right fine. okay <laughs> now tell me you're you're in America from 2011 to 2016 racing everything from dirt um, Ark, were the Arca cars? No, I was, uh, I was over uh, there, so I started in the USAC cars. Um, USAC? Speed cars, what they call them here, so yeah. USAC midgets. And then uh, progressed into uh, NASCAR late models, and right. then moved on into um, uh, the NASCAR Canon uh, E-Series, which is the exact same as what the Dunlop Super 2 Series is. Okay. So, the Americans that go, because obviously you were trying for NASCAR, uh, they very much used a lot of the dirt racing as a build-up category, don't they? Yeah, they do. Dirt racing is absolutely huge over there, and um, I started on pavement when I first went over there, but the, the, <laughs> cha the championship that I was racing, um, I was going against Cole Custer at the time, which is yeah. racing uh, NASCAR Cup Series now, so yeah. um, he forced me to go to the dirt, so uh, you know, I had a very broad range of uh, racing experience while I was over there. Yeah, you've got Cole Larson, for instance, you know, who's winning NASCAR races, you know, He's been racing sprint cars the whole season, last and this year as well. Uh, they really rate it, don't they? They do, yeah. As a and training I, tool. I think it's also because they race, you know, week in, week out. So, yeah. Um, and it's also a really good training tool for car control and um, something that I'm used to this day. But uh, you surprised about to me? Everyone else was surprised about your podium at Sand and everyone except you. Um, I was more disappointed that I got beaten by Shane and he's only got one arm, to be honest, so... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I was, um, you know, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. Um, you know, I've put in a lot of hard work to get to this point and I've always had um, a lot of self-belief and I think that's really important to um, yeah. to make it in this world. You know, you've got to, got to make sure that you believe in yourself and I've, you know, like I said before, I've had good people around me to guide me in the right direction, yeah. which has been really important. But that's good. You believed you could do it. And you're the most important person to believe that. Because if you don't believe it, you ain't going to do it. Yeah, exactly. And luckily, I'm you know with Erebus now, and Betty and Daniel and Barry, they've had you know plenty of belief in me. So that's you know one of the main reasons why um, I chose to go to Erebus this year. So I'm you know very thankful that I have the opportunity, and um, also to have that belief in me as well, which is really important. Right. <laughs> you're right. A relaxed atmosphere too, and that's and that's what you need for your first year. You don't need. You don't need people telling you how to drive, do you? No, exactly. And um, I have my own style, and um, I you see know, that. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's a bit different than most. But um, I've you know spent a, a lot of time with Paul and um, around here at Norwell, trying to understand how to drive, you know, in different ways as well. So yeah, um, I'm still learning, and I've got a long way to go. But um, I'm sure I'll get there. I'll tell you what, it's a it's a pretty good start um, when you're finishing. And as uh, Barry Ryan from Eris said. Finishing second to Shane Van Gisbergen is like a win. Oh, I don't yeah. see it that way. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. No, that's, you know, that's what I like about you, Brody. that you're not happy because you didn't win. There's so many, I call them podium gatherers, 
If I get a podium, I'm happy with that. That's great. Which is still all right, but there's only one spot in the podium, isn't there? Yeah, I, I had a lot of mixed emotions. I was happy to cross the line in second, but at the same time, when you have, you, you know for yourself that you have someone directly right in front of you, you can just taste it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I got a bit of that taste, and it was, um, it was, it was really foul at the end. Um, knowing that I, you know, got pretty close, but um, you know, Shane's done a dominant job this year so far. So um, hopefully, uh, we can be the ones to upset his streak going on at the moment. It's right. actually coming up, but we'll um, have to uh, keep our heads down and work, work pretty hard at it. I reckon. Well, the good thing about it is. You know, and it's been said all along, you've got a, a no-bullshit attitude. And, and, mate, you got to. Because, you know, when I was racing the category, I didn't have many mates. But you know what? I wasn't there to make mates. I was there to win races. And, and I see that a lot in you, you know. You're, you're not looking for a fan club. You're looking for race wins. Yeah, luckily that too. Um, you know, that's one, one important thing too is Erebus has had a lot of, a lot of fan... Uh, a lot of fans throughout the years, you know, having two name drivers, so yeah. um, having the fans get behind me after Sandown, now having those guys, um, you know, stick with the team has been pretty important for uh, for us as a little group, so I'm pretty proud of that as well. Hey, now let's get back to something more technical, because I, I noticed here you're using the clutch so much to help rotate the car. You're a fan of the gearbox, aren't you? I love a gear, I love a good gearbox. <laughs> as Paul likes to say, we speak Spanish. <laughs> we, um, we speak Manuel. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's yeah. And so paddle shift. I mean, we we've done a segment on that, and we reckon out the door. I agree. I love um, you know having having one hand on the wheel entering the corner just makes it that much more exciting. Yeah. And I think when you're trying to pass people, you can use this thing to help you pull it up a bit yeah. more. Yeah, it might cost 100 bucks more, but <laughs> I think it's definitely worth it for an uh, entertainment point of view. Final question, how did you get the nickname The Bush? Well, we're coming up to this corner up here, Yeah. so you're going to have to unbuckle, and I'll show you a bit. Really? Uh, I was actually uh, with my cousin Kurt, and yeah. it was raining. VT Commodore, yeah. brakes fouled right here, so my best option <laughs> okay, was to get out. Right. So I slid all the way up that earth wall up there. Yeah. And uh, Well, you jumped out of the car. Yeah, I jumped out of the car, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, poor old Kurt rode the car into the trees, so... <laughs> so um, you were going in, your brother's on, and you've launched out the car because you know you're going to have a big one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I thought to myself, my life flashed behind my eyes, and I've, yeah. had a, I've had a throttle stuck in America before, so... Yeah. Um, I knew that it was not going to be good in a road car, um, riding that one out. And, <laughs> Uh, so Kurt rode it into the tree and broke your sternum and yeah. raced at Townsville the next weekend. So um, yeah, you, you ended up in the bush. I ended up in the bush. I come walking out. Paul walked over to the car and he's yeah. had a panic attack because you know the cars the cars hanging out on the fence sort of thing. Yeah. And um, Kurt's walked out and I'm obviously not the car and he's, <laughs> I remember the blank look on his face. It's like where's Brody? And then <laughs> the first thing he said to me goes, "Where were you?" And so I jumped out and um, Brock and Nash. Um, saw the whole thing, um, yeah. as well as my cousin Jake in the car, so that's where I was uh, reborn as, as Bush. As so, a Bush, so that's yeah, where it come was, from, okay. Yeah, that's that's right. where it's come from, so it's not that I'm a, I'm, I'm a well-trimmed man, Russell, so. <laughs> that's, that's good. Hey mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hey look, uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Um, mate, it's, uh, it's good to see this sort of happen. This is what motorsports about, is finding new talent, new people come out, someone that's got a bit of grunt too, so. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, Ross. Thank you.